Good morning. Good morning, baby. These days I'm literally like thankful that my head is cut off because I would lose it if it were not. I just went downstairs to walk Illy and forgot my keys. And like my apartment complex, you can't get in unless you have keys. But thankfully I ran into a guy that lives on my floor that has like a, um, a bulldog, Tyson. And I was like, can you please let me in? Like I forgot my keys. So that was really fun. But shout out to him for letting me in. He's the goat. So I'm about to do check-ins and then we're gonna go do cardio. Right now I have daily cardio, 450 cows on the elliptical. Um, I might not get all 450 done this morning because I am running a little bit behind and I'll like need to get to work on time, obviously. And um, yeah, I'm feeling very just tired this morning if you can't tell. Um, but yeah, we're gonna check in and I'll see you probably after cardio. I completed my entire cardio session. So proud, because I really did not want to do it today, but it's like I get in here and then I'm like, this isn't bad. And like, I just think of doing, like I get to 50 and then I'm like, okay, you have a hundred, then you're at 150 and then you have a hundred. So I just keep thinking of it and in terms of, Anyways, I just think of it as getting to 100 each time and not 450 or 225 is half of 450. I just think of getting to 100. And I've had some good Kindle books recently, so that's helping me a lot as well. But yeah, we're going to go get ready for the day. Um, uh, weight this morning was 135.4, which is what it was on Tuesday, Wednesday when I checked in. Um, on Wednesday, so no drop, but sleep a little tighter. We'll put a check and put up here ish, and I'm gonna get ready for work. It's field day. I'll see you guys in a little bit. This is something that I've been doing um, every day, like when I wake up, is I wake up and I give three things that I thank God for, and it's just helped me mentally because. Some days, more often than not, are hard. And that just helps me put into perspective, like, I should be so grateful for my life. Like, I really have just nothing to complain about, to be honest. Um, so I like starting my day off that way because then I wake up, I just feel a little more positive. A little more positive. Because I was kind of going through, like, just feeling negative and like, oh, like, whatever, whatever. But it's like, no, I asked to do this. I love what I do. I wouldn't, there's nothing else I'd rather be doing. So... Why are we going to complain about it? So, I mean, if that helps you, if you're going through a hard time, just literally start your day off with just three things you're grateful for. And honestly, some days it's literally like Illyria, my house, like just simple things. And some days it's more like extravagant, like for specific things. Um, but it's helped me a lot. Maybe you can use that in your life as well. Work is done for the day. I just picked up my target order for my um aunt's baby shower like her little gifts so i picked that up and then i went to sephora because i've been wanting to go because this is sephora sale and i didn't go the other day because of the weather but i did go today and i'm so excited i'll do a little sephora haul when i got home but because i was in the mall i also got my third coffee of the day but it's only my second one from starbucks right now i get a cold brew with uh sugar-free vanilla like one pump and then cinnamon powder I got a tall. I was responsible. Earlier today, I did get a venti cold brew from Starbucks that I got delivered to work because it was field day. And I was like, you know what? I want to have a good day. So we're going to do it. But I'm headed home now. So I will go home and I need to make chicken so I can have my third meal. I'll walk Illy and then we're going to train push tonight. I'm going to pose. Um, when I get home, I'll do a Sephora haul because I'm really excited about what I got for a haul now because I'm at a red light and I'm excited. So I picked up the one size translucent powder. This stuff is beautiful. It does not flash back. So I got that. I've had the mini, but I finally got the full size and then got a restock of this on till dawn setting spray. This coupled with the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray, your makeup's not going anywhere. And then I got 
the I have two eyeliner pencils. I got I just get the Sephora collection eyeliner pencils. I got the shades uh black lace, which is just black, and then tiramisu, which is like a dark brown. And then I got two new makeup forever artistry pencils. It's the same ones I always get wherever walnut and anywhere caffeine. Just restock of those. Got a blender because I'm doing a girl's makeup tomorrow. And then I got the Hourglass Vanish Concealer. I have been so wanting to try it. And I almost didn't get it, but I was like, you've been wanting to try it and you get 20% off today, so get it. And that's my little haul. Spent $150, but it's fine. I've been wanting it and like now it's time to get it because it's on sale. So I'm gonna sip my cold brew, go home to my baby, make some food and go train. This is the current situation. This is why I'm not at the gym yet. Honestly, I was so tired today. And I really just wanna lay on the couch. But we're about to get ready and go hit a push day. Look how precious, like, come on. Um, yeah, my energy's been very low today. But I feel like it's all mental, so I need to just stop being a wimp, get up, and get it done. Honestly. Um, hack from Danielle. Um, if you don't feel like going to the gym, put on a cute outfit. I feel cute in this once I take the jacket off, but it's cold outside. And play some hype music to get ready. So I played some hype music and like fully got ready and like stretched. And I feel a little bit better. So we're gonna go hit a push day and I'm gonna get absolutely freaking massive. Wow, this lighting is really not helping me, but we're gonna look jacked in like an hour. So let's go hit a push day. We're back from the gym. I got new blue light glasses from Amazon. They came in today because I had other ones and I like misplaced them. I literally have looked over and I can't find them. Eating my last meal of the day. It's just yogurt, pineapple, cinnamon powder, and pink salt. Then I'm gonna walk Illy, and then I'm gonna shower. I need to wash my hair, and then pack everything tonight because tomorrow I'm gonna wake up at like my normal wake up time, which is like 4:40, because I need to leave here by six to drive home to go to my aunt's baby shower. She's having a little girl. I'm so excited to have a little girl in the family. Um, but I'll need. I just want to get everything packed so I'm not having to do it in the morning when I'm feeling groggy. I don't get to bed on time. I'll probably read my Kindle tonight since I have new blue light glasses. Um, yeah. I'm checking again on Monday. I'm not feeling my best, I'm gonna be honest. I don't really know like exactly what I'm struggling with. Yes, I do. I'm like comparing myself a lot to other people on Instagram, which is so terrible. Like, get off of Instagram if you're in prep. That's what I'm about to have to do because, like, it's just so bad. Like, I'll look and I'll be like, oh, my God, I'm not as vascular as insert whatever name. Like, I'm not whatever. And even just comparing myself to myself. Like, I look at checking pictures from this morning. I'm like, that's not me. Like, that's literally not me. But, like, it is me. I don't know. I'm overthinking a lot. And today was just hard. But it's just a hard day, not a hard life. And I'm just excited to finish this meal, walk illy shower and honestly just like crash get to bed i'll play a podcast make some tea and just do some tlc i like don't pour into myself enough so we're gonna really pour into ourselves this evening i'm gonna listen to the note to self podcast normally i'm listening to a bodybuilding podcast but i just want to detach completely from bodybuilding tonight like i just don't want to think about it i want to relax and i want to just like be a little silly girl I feel like I've just been so enveloped in the sport and like I'm putting too much pressure on myself. So I just kind of want to like pump the brakes, ease a little bit. I've done everything in my protocols today. Like I just want to, I feel like I need to just like take a step away from it for a second. Like this evening, just kind of like detach. And I'm glad that tomorrow, like I'm doing the baby shower, doing makeup, and then I'll go train after all of that. So like, I think that's going to just help me feel just like a little mental clarity. Um, but yeah, so 
I probably won't see you guys tonight, but I will catch you in the morning and I'll take you along my busy fun day. Good morning. We are on our morning walk. I did not get the best sleep last night. Um, Friday nights are usually hard to get good sleep because I live downtown. And for whatever reason, when people go out on Friday nights, they want to rev their engines all night long and play their music. And there's like a really bright light in the parking lot across from a window. And it's like double as bright on weekend nights. So even though I have like the blackout curtains, I still have to use my sleep mask and I'm just like, ugh. So didn't get the best sleep. Also I had caffeine late, my fault. I need to get better at that. I'm gonna get a stem pre pre-workout, which also I can just do salt and creatine and I'm fine. I was just being difficult. Um, but yeah, which I didn't have pre-workout yesterday. I had my coffee. My hair looks insane. I'm gonna walk Illy and then we're gonna get ready for the day. I feel mentally much better than I did yesterday, even though I didn't get the best sleep. I just, I think I just needed to like rest, reset, wake up to a fresh new day. And I'm excited to see my family today. So that's definitely gonna help. Um, I'm going to walk her and I'll see you when I'm on the way home. We are in the car on the way home. I am running a little late, but that's okay. I have all of my things packed. I have clothes to change into for the gym. I have my gym bag and like different shoes for training and cardio. And I've got all of my meals for the day. Besides my last meal because I'll be home by then. And I have my makeup bag, so I can do Zadie's makeup today. I feel like my makeup is slaying this morning, even in the hair too, and I did it so quick. I don't know, I just feel very pretty today. Um, and I just, oops, my bag with my clothes just fell over, but that's okay. There's just like a jacket and stuff in there on top, so I'm sure it's not gonna fall out. Um, it's gonna be a beautiful day. I have coffee, but I'm tempted to stop and get more because the drive is gonna be long. It's two hours and like 15 minutes with no traffic right now. So it shouldn't be too bad, but um, I'll show you guys some clips of the shower. I'm so excited. And I hope that wherever you are, you're having a wonderful day. And remember to just express some gratitude for your life. Okay, anyways, I'll see y'all in a little bit. <laughs> Baby shower is done on the way to do makeup. It went really well. I got to see my family, which I'm grateful for. And I was gonna show you, I got a diet sun kissed and a water. Um, and we had, I think I took a video of it, but they had this, um, like make your own bouquet station before you left. So I made my own bouquet, which I'm really excited about. So I get to take it home and put it in my vase. I hope it lasts home because I still, after I do makeup, I'm going to go to the bar and train. Um, the bar is the name of the gym that I go to. Funny name, right? So we're going to continue on our wondrous journey today. Friends, we've made it to the gym. I'm at the gym before I go home because the gym is on the way to my apartment because the gym is in Milton and I live in Pensacola. And when I'm coming from like Tallahassee area, this is stop before Pensacola. Um, we are going to train legs and then do cardio on the stairs because the ellipticals here are garbage. I refuse to use them. Um... trying to find the energy I have and like I've eaten all of my meals like cold and in the car today and like that's just not always the best digestion and so I'm feeling a little icky but I did bring a hoodie so I can like cover up a little bit because I feel very bloated we're gonna sip some of this to hopefully wake me up and it's nice and warm mmm yum but yeah we're about to go hit legs and then do that I've been super setting this leg day because my Saturdays have been so busy and taxing and like the last thing I want to do is spend two hours at the gym. So I'm going to make it like a one hour workout, 45 minutes on the stairs, 
that's you it's 450 calories but it ends up being about like 40 minutes on the elliptical but this stair stepper always takes me five minutes longer than the elliptical at the y so i know it'll be like 45 minutes um and then i get to go home to illy walk her eat my last meal and go to bed but i actually need to get groceries after but a winn-dixie is right next door so i can get one there also i'm kind of embarrassed because i'm about to walk in there in this dress and heels and like they're gonna be like why are you doing this on a saturday and i'll be like because i was traveling and i have to come to the gym <sighs> yeah we are about to go in i'm just postponing it right now because i'm trying to find the motivation to get it done but can't rely on motivation gotta rely on discipline i know i'm gonna go in there i'm gonna get it done my hips feel tight but that doesn't matter we're gonna pump the glutes and we're gonna do one more thing to make ourselves closer to becoming a winner today i'll catch you guys after the gym also don't think i ever showed y'all but this is the fit from today and it's so cute, I love it. This little dress is Sierra's that I borrowed. And then these heel, or shoe, heel, flip flop things. But yeah, quads look insane. All right, I'm gonna get ready now. All right. We even posed, and now we're gonna run into Win Dixie. I cannot forget to get cotton rounds. I've been forgetting the past like three times I've been to the store. So I'm making this video so that I don't forget. And if I do forget, I'll be embarrassed that I have to share with you guys that I forgot again. So let's go get some gross. I got them. On the way home. Um, so training ended up going really well. I've been listening to Jay Brandon's podcast, uh, behind the bikini. I think that's what it's called. It's on Spotify. Um, and she was talking about how when she trains, she like puts her phone away and I was like, whatever, like, eh. anyways, but I was like, I'm going to try it. Um, so I put my phone away and played the Pink Friday 2 album. So I was like, we're just going to keep this on rotation and y'all, it was so good. And then for cardio, I literally watched Jen Dory's Arnold Prep on YouTube. And it got me through. And then I posed and got groceries. And now I'm headed home to see Illy. I'm so excited. I'll take her for a walk. And then I'll eat my last meal. And I am going to bed. And tomorrow is all about prep, getting ready for the week. So I'll see y'all later. We are back home. And I'm like unpacking everything. But... I ordered, well, a while ago, I ordered the Hydro Jug Traveler flask, or drink, whatever, not flask, the, um, yeah, I guess it was the tra the Traveler cup, the one that's like the Stanley, but it doesn't leak, and it was flawless, phenomenal, best cup I've ever had. Well, I broke it, I like twisted it, and the handle came off whatever I emailed them and they sent me a replacement because they are darling so this is the replacement here ah, how the heck did I break the cup but I can't even open the package that's so cute um yeah so we're gonna open it together because I'm just really excited that that I got a replacement and they also sent a green chef coupon, $135 off and free shipping. Never even heard of green chef, but slay hydro jug. Thank you. And then order receipt. And yeah, they didn't charge me for shipping or anything. They just sent it to me and they were like very, it was honestly like, the replacement delivered way faster than the original one that I ordered and customer service was phenomenal. So I will continue to buy from Hydrojug. This is my third now ever Hydrojug. Um, and no complaints. So if you're looking for a new cup, 
This one is literally the bomb. As long as you're not super strong like me and break it. But yeah. Oh, she's so beautiful. I'm so happy that I have her back. I missed her. She does not like it all. She keeps all my drinks cold. And I've missed her, so I'm happy that she's back with me. I'm gonna wash her so I can use her tomorrow. So ordered from Young LA. I don't love their gym clothes, but I love their pants, like their cargos and stuff. So I ordered more because I wear them. The ones I do have, I wear to work all of the time. And I was like, we need more pairs. And so I ordered them. And I ordered it before the sale because I'm silly girl. I didn't realize they were having a sale. And so I ordered it right before, but whatever. I was gonna get them anyways. And I've got them now. So let's open them up. I did get um, three different pairs of cargos. This first pair are these brown. So cute. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to wear these. Yes, I might wear these to church tomorrow. Those brown ones, I love. And then I got um, these, I think these are the satin ones. Yes. These satin cargos. Honestly, you might wear these to church because they're more dressy. And these will fit because these are smalls. The others I got in medium, so I can wear them all the time. But these smalls will fit right now. Which my other ones are smalls, but they get a little tight in the off season. So precious. They need to be steamed. But they're so pretty. Oh my gosh. I'm so flipping excited and then the last pair are these gray ones well they look gray online but now they look a little more green i think that's the lighting here cute i guess they look gray i don't know i love so those are all my packages that i got side note if you're not using a scrub daddy to wash your dishes you're doing it wrong i am so happy to have this water bottle back in my life. I'm obsessed with her. Um, sorry, Ellie, you were in my way. We're gonna take our subs for the evening. Not gonna lie to you guys. Past few days have been hard. And I wish I had better advice to get through them. Honestly, I just decide to do it. You just have to decide to get through it. And I feel so much better right now. So just know if you're having a hard day, it gets better. You just have to decide to show up, do what you know needs to get done. Honestly, what helps me is like, uh, and I've talked to Danielle about this, like, I just turn my brain off and just execute. Like, I have the protocols, this is out for me, no thoughts, I don't have to think, I just do what she tells me to, and that helps me a lot. So, maybe it'll help you, I feel like I'm not being very helpful right now. These are my flowers from the bouquet I made. They're kind of, like, sad looking because they've been sitting in my car all day long. But we are going to try to revitalize them and put them in a vase. So hopefully they're pretty for at least like a couple of days. I'll set them like in the kitchen, you know, really spring five, brighten up the place. Um, but that's gonna be it for the vlog. We are almost six weeks out. Monday will be six week at Monday check-in. We'll be six weeks out check-in. Um, yeah, I don't know. Today at the gym was, I was like, okay, if I can make it through this, I can make it through literally anything. And like, I was so tired and did not want to pose. My body was tired, but I did it and it felt good. And we're just going to keep going, keep chugging along. Tomorrow is just going to be about resetting, cleaning, going to church, loving on Jesus, loving on myself. I have a call with Danielle at eight, which I'm so thankful for. We're going to have weekly calls, um, which is would be very helpful. And we started picking out suits. So I'm excited. I have a suit color in mind. I'll order it in the next couple of weeks. And I'll update you guys. I'm not going to be secretive. Secretive Sally over here. We're thinking like royal blue. Like the Kerrigan 
suit that she did that was blue where it had like almost like a blackness to it. I don't know, it was very beautiful. You can look, on, look at it on her Instagram if you're that curious. If not, you can wait until I have mine and I can show you. But yeah, that's it for this vlog. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that wherever you are, you are having a wonderful day. You're feeling blessed. And if you feel discouraged, just know, just keep showing up. I mean, seriously, just decide to keep showing up and it'll pay off. It really will. And you are going to see the light and you are going to feel fulfilled. And I just appreciate you being here and watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.